YouTube family, we are going Maverick out in a happy independence Jamaica. What them say, 61 year and counting. We are happy with the progress. <laughs> and alright, this is I go. Yeah. So, me there home yesterday, I watched the last night. I watched the Grand Gala up at the National Stadium. You know, the big independence celebration that in a Kingston. In fact, my, my daughter was at the Grand Gala. So, me that watch it with a view of timing when we go up at the stadium, go pick her up and wait. Hey, hey. Somebody there watch it and me I say, yo, it look good, you know. Colorful. The Jamaican vibe up, the energy up, the whole Jamaicanness. You feel it. Look good. Then them get to a point now where me say, like the mayor of Kingston, the minister, the prime minister, and a set of people, and a man, and narrate something. And I see a man stand up there look like, like Marshall Montana from Trinidad. So I say, wait. Yeah. In the end of Jamaican clothes, obviously, you know, I mean, that's some neutral color. They look, that thing look like a pyjama looking thing. And I say, wait. Yeah. And then I listen to the thing where they read, and I say, are the keys to the city. They may give Marshall Montana for Independence Day in Jamaica, you know. And right away clicking on my head, but this don't look good. What would be the thinking? For you go for a soca singer from Trinidad and give him the keys to Kingston on Jamaica's Independence Day. He's a foreign singer with a foreign music. And that alone in isolation rub me wrong. Jamaica is one of the most vibrant music industries in the world. Pound for pound probably are the most impactful music we have. And an industry will come out of Jamaica, will emanate out of Jamaica, and birth out of Jamaica. Reggae and dancehall music. And on Independence Day, when we are celebrate 61 years of independence, we go for a foreigner from Nunga Trinidad. A musician, you know. He's almost a competing brand to our brand, you know. And you go for Marshall Montana, because give him keys of the city. Me feel insulted. Me feel disrespected and insulted. I don't get the Marshall Mantan or something there. One of the time I asked my daughter when I come home, I said, Alan, you know, um, Marshall Mantan. She said, one of her friends tell her that it's some soca singer or something. Eh? I don't understand it. It looks conflicted to me. Is there some kind of reciprocal cultural arrangement between Jamaica and Trinidad? Where? What? Then give Bob Marley the key to the city down there, Beris Amana, Bojo Mantan, the key for the city down at Port of Spain. So we did compel Figgy Marshall. Me not understand people. Me not understand. We give we, we give bounty killer the key to the city yet. We give Capitan the keys to the city yet. We give Beanie Man the keys to the city yet. Why we never fly Shabba Ranks from New York and carry Shabba come give him the keys to the city? What Freddie McGregor right now? In a little illness state right now. Why we never carry Freddie come? You know this emotional moment based upon what I'm with Freddy now. And do something like this for Freddy. Eh? I don't understand the people. Me flabbergasted, they're almost upset. You know the independence here. <laughs> I don't understand it. Eh? To a Marshall Montana, him obviously feel awkward. Him couldn't come here and him chin down and to make a colors, you know. What him couldn't wear the Jamaica colors now, that? A mock, him not a mock way. I don't understand the people. I don't understand it. Want to Jimmy Cliff. Want to Shaggy and Sean Paul. We are Blaze Trail internationally. Want to them people. I don't understand it. I could have found a hundred Jamaican artists to give the keys to the city of Kingston before we go to Jamaica go look at Caribbean, a soccer artist from Dunga Trinidad. I don't understand that something, brother. He kind of spoil my independence. I don't like to. <laughs> I don't know. I know me I try to figure it out. What we are doing, we are trying, it's a, some kind of tourism thing, we are trying to appeal to Trinidad for coming to Jamaica. For, we don't know, we don't see no rationale behind it. Marshall Montano, the king of what them Calypso or Soka, whatever them call it down there. But our, look here, if you want Anna Marshall, you know, you tell Anna Marshall, you know, that is a great musician from, from the Caribbean. Also, we have a growing Soka and Calypso and Carnival industry in Jamaica. They have a season fee. When him come up here in the season, man, you know, call him up at Jamaica house and give him something, man. 
But for our big independence day when we are celebrate with Jamaicanness, is a foreigner we are giving the key for the city. A big e that's something that. Big fool fool something that. We know this is where nobody wants it. Say, me see it as one big fool fool insulting something. Especially in the context and the vibrancy of our music industry. We have too much superstar ambassador out of reggae and dancer. If we go for Marshall Montana, we come key the keys at the city. Power Independence Day! <laughs> me don't like it, people. Me don't like it. Me don't like it one iota, one ounce. Then if me feel so, me just have fun of the music. You know, you know we do a little thing and we have a little connection in the music industry. Right? But warm to the man, then we put in them 20, 30, 40 years. A young man working a reggae music. A blaze the trail internationally. Warm to Burning Spear and the man. Burning Spear come from the Senans Bay. You look at the Burning Spear, the key to Kingston. Eh? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand that something. Me mad by the one. <laughs> me don't know people. Me I try. I, I, all right. You know, all right. You're the Maverick operator now. You swear something happen. First thing my mind asks me, you know, is why them do this? And what was the thinking behind it? Me always got a motive. You know, see, I saw, I saw investigative work. Motive are one of the first things you go find. You go for three things. Motive means an opportunity. Means an opportunity not coming at this. I just motive you look for now because it's not a crime. It's an action where the government take. I mean, I look for the why. What is it that we are missing in our music industry? And you know why I'm particularly upset with Babsy too? Because Babsy is a reggae and dance hall functionary, you know, people. For those who don't know, say, a Babsy Green used to manage Shabba Ranks, when Shabba Ranks, the Jamaican, you know, a fair company used to manage Shabba Ranks, you know. And Richie Stevens and Lady Patcher, all of them people, you know. Bobsy was a, was a music producer and, a, and an agent and a manager and all of them something, you know. <laughs> so Bobsy intertwined with our, with our music. And she's sitting on them, I don't know if she do it, spearhead it or some committee which she appoint. But Bobsy, if you appoint a committee and then carry Marshall Mantan and him come, you know, tell him so, no man. You know, most general we have in our music, so we underappreciated in Jamaica. We cannot go for no foreigner to come to it. I know, tell me, Mr. Marshall Mantan, I'm not a foreigner, I that him come from. You know how much ear mile him have to take to come up with this, to come collect that water. I feel insulted, people. Happy independence, but I feel insulted. I don't know how you feel, but me feel insulted. Happy independence, Jamaica, but I feel insulted on Independence Day. What do you think about where the map is? I mean, he said the best. A most credible opinion, you know. <laughs> and it's right on that one, you know. Talk to me, good. Boom. 